It's another day in paradise. Today, we have Lisa Corsello, founder of Burn SF, here to take us through a 30-minute workout that combines Pilates, strength training, and cardio. Let's do this. All right, guys, let's get started with some tricep jacks. It's basically a jumping jack, but we're kind of punching through the backs of the arms. So I want you to feel your triceps from the very beginning. Ooh. You're landing softly, out and in. Try to add a little bit of a punch, right? This is your warm up, you want your whole body feeling this workout. I like that. I've Thank never you. done these before. <laughs> We it's surprising, three more of these. actually, <laughs> how well right? this is working. Yeah. Try to spread those fingers out a punch. Two more, then we're going to go into basic jumping jacks. Here we go. Up. Good. Just breathe in and out. Keep that chest lifted. Abs tight. And we're landing really, really softly. Don't pound into the ground. We've got three more. We're going into a step and reach right here. Let's go. We step and reach. Now, you can reach or you can punch. It's really up to you. Ooh. But you want to think about this as a nice active stretch. You should feel the hips opening. The chest is opening, we're punching too, right? So we always have our arms and our legs going. Let's do three more each side. Low, 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 Ooh, I feel like one. I'm getting fire stance ready. <laughs> right into the low jacks here. Now this is a good chest opener. Try to turn your feet out a little bit so you're also opening up those hips. Go ahead. I like Just this breathe. chest stretch at the same time. Thank you. Nice. I feel this everywhere actually. Cause we're gonna <laughs> work <great>. everywhere. <laughs> Cause we're gonna get it all in. We got three oh, more here, boy. two, one. Now we're gonna squat, grab your weights, okay? All right. By the way, you don't need to use any weights at all. You can go light, medium, or heavy. It's really up to you. This next set is hard without any weights at all. Just using your own body weight. All right. Very, very powerful, very, very hard. So set the weights down if you need to, all right? Good. We use three. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> okay. I got threes. So your arms can either be at your sides or they can be together. This is really about what's most comfortable for you. I like it this way. You guys make your, make your choices. Feet a little bit wider than shoulders. Digging through the heels, wiggle your toes. We're just gonna go into a basic squat. So when you squat, I want you to look down. You want your knees to be the same width as your feet, right? Like your middle toe. A lot of times when we squat, our knees cave in or they poke out. So adjust mm -hmm. your feet and then try to let your knees follow. All right, we got two more. Then we begin, ready? We're gonna bring it down and hold right here. Your gaze is about three feet in front of you, so you're not tweaking your neck. I want you to start to clench your glutes, push into the heels, wiggle your thighs, and now we pulse. Now, pulse is a really, really tiny range of motion move. It's not a bounce, okay? Bouncing's only gonna tweak your knees. I want you to feel your entire low body here. I do. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> All right, we got five, four. Can you go deeper for your last three, two? Stand up. Oh, yeah. I love you, Lisa. Ooh, I love you too. Take your <laughs> left foot forward, right foot back. Again, firm foundation. Get on the ball of your right foot. Hips under your shoulders, arms down. Let's go into a static lunge. You want to get that full range of motion, but that doesn't include smacking your knee on the ground, nor does it include locking out, okay? Yeah. So you find your range. It might look different from the person next to you, or from us. No big deal, all right? We got three more. Two, bring it down, hold. I want you to imagine you have a little ping pong ball right in between your knees. Crush it. Ooh. Keep that ping pong ball there. Dig into your left heel. Now we press down. Oh, baby. Good. This is where I want you to really get into the core. Keep it tight. You're going to want to fall forward. Don't do it. Good. You got eight, seven. Lower now. Good. Four, three, two. Do not stop. Just set one weight down. To lean over your left leg. Bring that one weight, uh, one weight out. We're going to do a knee repeater. Okay? All that oh, yeah. weight goes into your left leg. You barely need to tap that right toe. Right? You got four. Three, two, one, bring it down. Now you're in a runner's lunge, you have no weights in your hands. We're gonna prime, right? <sighs> Don't be deceived. It's like a nice you got, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're priming that thigh because you got a beautiful, long, long set coming up for your left thigh to finish it. In three, two, one. Now I want you to pause and reach your arms as far forward as you can. All that weight in your left leg, it should be burning. Right? It is. Burning. And now we pulse, <laughs> pulse. It should feel crazy hard. It's crazy hard. Now try not to hunch. Yeah. Right? You want to keep Chest reaching. High. Give me yeah. 10, 9, 8. Lean forward more. Just commit to this. You're almost there. Last three. Last two. One. Woo. Stand oh. up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Really get up. That's normal. Oh, no, 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 no. That's normal. Oh. So now we've got to be fair. We need to hit that right side. So of course. Reach. Take a deep breath in. Square it. Step it. So your left foot comes back. You're on the ball of your left foot. Good. Static lunges. This is, should feel easy now, right? It Drop does. it down. Push it up. Down and up. We got five, four, three, 
two, we're gonna come down and hold. Ping pong ball in place, right? Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah. 16 pulses. Oh boy. Good. A little lower. Abs are tight. Yeah. Last six. Five. Chin up. Chest out. Come forward. Drop one. Lean. We got our knee repeaters. All that weight's in the right leg. Pull. Reach. Feel how your whole body's working. Shoulders, chest, back, abs. And yes, your legs and your glutes. Yeah. Three, yeah. two, one. Anna, your favorite. We're going to bring oh, it down. Yeah. Hold. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we do little pulses. Okay? Fire up the back of that right leg. Give it everything you got. We got three counts. Two, one. Reach. Long. Now, <laughs> all over. And pulse. Two. Good. Keep reaching. Belly's tight. Back is oh, long. Yeah. Eight more. You're halfway there. And my weight is through my heel here. Yep. Front foot, right? You got it. Oh, baby. I feel it. Four, three, two, one. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah. this stuff got worse. Hurts so what good. about this, right? So okay. let's grab onto our weights again. We're going to go right back to the basics. Okay. Getting those squats in. Again, these should feel super easy, right? Five. Right. <laughs> I feel stronger at this already. I know. It's all relative, good, right? Yes. Drop it down. Hold it 16 little pulses down. Check in with the knees and toes. Good. You got six. My booty is on fire. Four. <laughs> My quads are Burning in a good way. Come on up. OK. So as promised, we got a little bit of inner thighs to finish you off. Heels are a little bit wider than your shoulders, and your toes are turned out at 10 and 2, OK? Not 9 and 3. You want to make sure that your knees are comfortable following your toes, okay. not the other way around. Arms are straight, belly's tight. We're just going to drop into a sumo and up. Exhale up, inhale down. Quick oh, check in with this. the knees, right? Inner thighs. If they're caving forward, make a conscious effort to pull the knees back. If that's not working, turn your toes in a little bit, OK? Two more. One. Now let's bring it down. Hold it. Arms straight, it's afraid belly's tight. <laughs> Perpendicular spine, right? Here we go. Deep. Dig into the heels, wiggle the toes, keep your abs tight. Three pound weights got heavy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said you can do it with no weights at all. Three, two, one, stay low. Final, final, final. Weights are down, arms reach out, stick your bottom out. We're gonna do that same type of movement. Your inner thighs, you should start to feel this wrapping Ooh, around. Yeah. Through the yeah. Out, outer thighs, through the glutes, lean forward. Eight, seven, lower, come on. Four, three, Two, one. Oh, yeah. and the legs are done for. <laughs> Jelly. What's next, Feels Lisa? Good. Take a deep breath in. Grab your weights. It's time Ooh, to work our arms. All right. All right, all right guys, so we're going to start with triceps. Lighter, medium weights, your choice. And again, you should feel this even if you're not using weights at all. So let's turn to our right. Feet about hip width apart. And we're just going to hinge forward from the hips. So I want you to think about a lot of length from your tailbone all the way up your spine to the crown of your head. Elbows cinch into the sides and we go into kickbacks. So this is just a nice beginning movement for your triceps. And you want to really think about your spine staying long the whole time. So stick your bottom out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pull your abs in. And then you want to keep your elbows sort of glued in towards your side. What you don't want to see is your whole arm sort of hinging forwards and backwards. That's right. not really going to help your triceps, right? Good. So every time you extend, try and just pause for a quick second, really feeling the back of your arms. Let's do two more. Good. Then we'll bring it back and just hold. So we'll take that pause to the next level. And think about your arms just getting longer, reaching towards the wall behind you. Mm. Good. Open up your chest. Three, two, and one. We're going to come down on our knees. Set your weights down just for a second. And we're going to start with chaturanga push-ups. So to those of you that do yoga and you know chaturanga, these will probably be very smooth and easy for you. They're not easy for me, though. So you're going to get your shoulders right over your wrists. Um, I like to do them on, your, on my knees. So you guys can be on your toes if you want. But you're going to inhale as you lower. Let your elbows skim the sides of your body, and then you exhale for shot. So again, you've got to keep your abs tight. And then just think about your neck staying long, especially through the sides of your neck. So resist that urge to hunch. OK. We'll let the shoulders Ooh. shrug up. Good. Calm down and up. Again, those elbows it. skim the sides. Good, making sure your shoulders are right over the wrist. Let's do two more. Two. Keeping your abs Exhale tight up. really helps. Oh my god, oh. it does. Keeps that form. Oh. That's a good You know what, that's such a good point. Yeah, the, this is abs too. I mean, it's all abs. Mm -hmm. Okay, back, we're just gonna repeat, same deal. So, hinge forward, belly's tight, elbows in, and let's go. Press. 
You can pick up your pace a little oh bit as long gosh. as you're not. As long as you're <laughs> not deceiving. Yeah. It's like after those push-ups, <laughs> yeah. even harder to lift right. three pounds. It's all about the way you layer it. Good. Let's do four more. Remember at the top. Really happening already. That extension, right? Two. Yeah. One. Now let's bring it back. Hold. Shoulders back. Oh yeah. Arms are long. Open up that chest. Good. Three, two, and one. Another <sighs> set of push-ups. These are different though. So I want you guys to make a triangle with your hands, just like this. And put that triangle down on the mat. Shift your weight forward so that your chest is over the triangle. We're back on our knees. Now the elbows flare out as we lower. Good. We're still using our triceps. This is just a different way to challenge them. Oh boy. Oh, my arms Again. are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Belly's tight. Now see if you're really over your triangle, okay? So come down a little bit deeper. Check in here. Let's do three. Two, last one, make it count, push up, 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 oh, good. Okay, if you've been using medium weight so far, I want you to go a little bit lighter, because this is gonna be a nice, long, beautiful set. <laughs> and finish all the back of those arms. Before we move on to shoulders, okay? We're back in that same position. Hinging forward, belly's tight, bottoms out. Bring your arms up and just hold. We're just gonna finish with pulses, so you're just gonna move up and down. Think about this as a super, super, super small range of motion, okay? Yeah. Good. If you're starting to feel this in your lower back, if it's just weird for you to stand this way, you can always stagger your stance. You have all these different <sighs> options. Yeah, bending those knees really helps. Right? Keep that back flat. Yeah. Keeping the booty back. Perfect. So if you're starting to feel like this rotation is just not working for you and you want a little bit of a change, you can always flip your palms up. Okay. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's nice, that is a big change. Nice little bit of variation for you. Good. And imagine you're holding on to a bar, so those arms have to track together, right? Right. That helps. Good. Yeah. And let's do five more here. Ooh. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Oh. Turn. Okay. Roll your shoulders. Okay. Soften your knees a little bit. Your feet are going to be about hip width apart, arms at the sides. Roll those shoulders back and lengthen through the collarbone. We're just going to start with lateral raises. So these are for your shoulders. Now the most common mistakes I see are kind of like this, or doing this. So if that's happening, grab lighter weights. Yeah, right. great tip. Form is important, thank you. All right, let's do two more. Good, now we're gonna bring it up and hold, okay? Right arm is gonna stay exactly as it is, reaching out to that right wall. Left arm's gonna drop and lift, okay? Keep your right arm back so you're really reaching. Oh, combination of a little right. isometric so and a fun. little movement. It just looks so easy. You are a genius, Lisa. Oh, thank this you is so incredible. Much. Oh, I love it. Burning. Good. Bring that left up. Hold. Reset. Right. Lift. Oh, yeah. Lift. Good. Good. Try to keep your left arm strong, okay? I know you want to bend it. I know you want to let it down. Let's do four more, and then you can do that. And bend breathe. it, not let it down. Bring that two. From here, don't drop the weights. Good. I want you to change the way you're standing so you don't start to pull into the lower back. Soften the knees, pull your belly in. Two 90 degree angles, right? We're gonna start with pulses. So your wrists are right above your elbows, okay? All right, three more of these. Two, one. I want you to inhale, drop down, exhale, push deeper. Higher, up, up. So now we're getting some length. If this feels like too much, go back to the pulses. They're still hard, they're still good, and we're all gonna be doing them in two more. <laughs> One, bring it down, hold it. Little pulses again. Stay wide. Ah. Good. Three, two, one last set. Boom, bring it down, push it up. Don't arch, okay? This is when everyone yeah, starts to get time. weird. Yes. Don't do it. <laughs> That's it. Four, three, two, one. Bring your arms down, elbows come oh, in. Oh, baby. Wow. Okay. Breathe Yeah. Feels now good. we get to work our biceps. You can go heavier for biceps. A lot of people like to go heavier for the biceps. Mm -hmm. Your choice. Good. So again, with biceps, like everything, you want those elbows to be in at the side mm -hmm. and your wrists to be long, okay? Don't use your wrists or your forearms. Yeah, I really say mm -hmm. like, really grip your weights. Yeah, Squeeze grab onto them, them. Work get into it. forearms. Mm -hmm. That's right. Three more. <laughs> Two. Now bring it halfway down, hold here. Just for a second, roll the shoulders back, soften the knees, pull the abs in. And we're gonna connect the weights. From here, you're just gonna angle your thumbs up slightly. So you're making a, uh, the letter V, or imagine you're holding onto a bowl. Okay, and we're gonna drop and lift. Drop and lift, good. 
Try to maintain that V the whole time. Okay. Good. Definitely targets a different part of the bicep. I like that. Exactly. Yeah. Two more. Woo! Good. Pause halfway down again. We're gonna keep this angle, but we're gonna go into ovals. So they're not circles, they're not wide, they're long. Down and in and around. Good. Two more. Pause and then reverse. Good. Um, I've never been a sexy arm workout. Yeah, yeah ever. really. Two more. Pause again and come back to shoulder width, okay? So we're gonna start to alternate hammer curls. So make sure you just come to the top of the thigh and then up towards your shoulder so you don't get any breaks. No release, I want you to use your arms, not momentum. Four, good. Three, shoulders stay back. Two, and one. Good, nice job. Nice wow, job. every muscle in That's my why arms. it's called burn. Yeah, I guess. Burn, <laughs> yes. Yes. You're getting it, you're getting it. Yeah, okay. Right. So we're gonna start abs now. So we're gonna come down onto the mat, make sure the weights are out of the way. Okay, we're gonna start with the basics. I love to start with the basics, they're super important. So you're gonna roll back, bend your knees, feet flat on the mat, hands behind the head. All right, so we're just gonna start with crunches. We're gonna exhale up, inhale down, okay? So the whole time, I want you to think about your pelvis being like a bowl that's full of water, and you don't want the water to slosh or tip. Okay, keep it still. If you're finding that it's getting wobbly, decrease your range of motion. Mm. Let's do two more here. I like that. Thank you. Like it's a bowl of water. <laughs> Lift and hold, that's right. Think about that bowl of water, you know you want it. And then you're gonna pulse up. Little teeny tiny pulses. So to keep this out of your neck, I want you to look down at your belly button or your waistband and draw it in. That's what you wanna see. Mm -hmm. That's what you wanna see it drawing yeah. in, not puffing out. Two more, come up and hold. So we're up, shoulder blades are up off the mat. You're gonna inhale here, exhale, rotate left. Inhale to center, exhale, rotate right. Okay, inhale, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Make sure both shoulder blades are up off the mat the whole Ooh, time. That's hard. Good. That's right, good. Bring it back to center, come on down. Oh, good. Hi. Now we bring it into tabletop. Knees over hips, shins parallel to the sky, hands behind the head, big deep breath in. Exhale, curl it up. And now we're gonna go into bicycles or crisscross, okay? Everyone has a different word for these, but we all know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> and they all work. Yeah. Those Four. abs. Three, two, now I want you to come over towards your left knee, hold. We're gonna inhale to center, bring the right knee in to match the left, exhale, go back to the left. Inhale, center, exhale. So we're just working on that left side body, okay? Good, two more. I like how you're exhaling as you twist. That's right. Come up, hold, hold, pull both shoulder blades up a little bit higher and do eight pulses. This is where it gets deep. Five. Four, three, two, uh, back in uh, to both legs. Oh Bicycle. my goodness, no break in between. No, no, no. Three, yeah. two, guess what? We get to come over to the right now. Hold, Oh goody. inhale, left knee comes in, we're in the center, exhale, up and over. Inhale, center, exhale out. Three, two, last time come up, hold, and hold, hold. Good. Ugh. And put your head down. Oh, lift your legs up. Oh, baby. Uh. So we're still working, but now we're in neutral spine. Mm -hmm. Arms are down. There's a tiny bit of space above our sacrum, but you shouldn't be able to see it, right? You shouldn't be able to see light underneath your back. Okay. Inhale your arms back. Exhale, let your arms lead the way, and you're going to curl up and just hold here for a second. Look down at that belly button. Draw it in. Now we're going to continue to work the obliques. Right hand reaches up towards the left big toe. Left hand up towards the right big toe. There's a very, very small range of motion going on here. We're just shifting. For four, higher three, two, hold. Put your hands back behind your head. Lower your right leg and twist towards your left thigh. Inhale, legs come up, chest to center. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. You can soften the knees if you're starting to feel this in your back or your hips. Twist, lift. Right, you could bend your knees to make it a little easier. This is like advanced yeah. bicycle crunch. That's right. So yeah, if you need to bend your knees, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's do one more each side. Now, lower your right leg halfway down. Oh boy. Release your hands. Good, reach up towards your left foot. 
reach, stay high. Now you can soften those knees if your back's starting to arch. Three, two, uh, one, hold, switch legs. You got eight to finish, go. Uh, and you want your low back to stay down yeah. on the floor, right? Oh God. Two, yeah. one, bring your knees in. Wow, oh, that felt great. Doing right, that every day will change your <laughs> life. <laughs> really? Oh, let's roll to the right. Okay. Let's take a nice child pose before we get back into our cardio. Oh boy. <sighs> that felt amazing. All right, so let's just do one deep breath all the way in. Out. <sighs> okay, you break this over. No, no. Come on, lady. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Finishing super strong, we're gonna be getting into cardio and ab sets. So we're just gonna bust right through it, okay? We're gonna plant our left foot down, reach your right so foot back. I just want you to make sure you're angling forward, okay? So your whole body's kind of leaning to the left. Reach your arms out, we're gonna start repeaters. A million different ways you can do these. What I do want you guys to be super, super mindful of is staying over that left leg so you're not rocking forwards right. and backwards, okay? You can move your arms however you want, but try and get some force in there, right? As you move your arms, exhale, good. We are going to add on with a little hop. Hop, if that feels too funky, just go a little bit lower and you'll get some more depth to this movement, right? We got five, four, three, two, switch. Plant that right, get into it. Make sure those hips and shoulders are all going the same direction. Good, now let's take a little bit deeper before we add the hops. Move your arms, exhale for three, two, one. Now we hop, hop, good. Pull. I want to hear you guys breathing a little bit harder, please. Oh, yeah. Think about right, my five, abs. Tighten four, up my abs. Three, two, one. Bob and weave. Drop it down. Ooh, Bring I your like arms these. up. A little bit stretchy. Feel your obliques. For three, two. Now we add a hop. Good. You don't have to add that hop because it feels too weird. Do the lift. Lift. Good. Four, three. Down two. A little deeper. Now, quick feet. Pick it up. Ooh. Shake it out, take your bottoms out. Okay, so here's the image that I want you guys to have in your head, right? We're running on the track, we're gonna hurdle. When I say right, you're gonna lead, you're gonna jump with your right foot. When okay. I say left, you're gonna jump with your left. Okay. Ah. Ready, right, Ooh. left. We'll keep it simple, I'm not gonna try and trick you. Right, <laughs> left. Let's do two right, right now. Up, up, Ooh. deep, two left, higher. Lower in the quick feet. One right. I like this agility. Ooh, oh, I want to do the two. One left. <sighs> two right. <sighs> two left. This is cardio. Quick <sighs> feet. All right. Plant your feet. Step out with your left foot. Down, in, out with the right. Good. Now we'll do that hop. So touch, touch. Good. Super deep squat. Need some tracking over those ankles. Okay, we're not going sideways. Good. Stay focused. Drop down. For four, three, two. Stay low. Turn your toes out. Open up your knees. Sumo position. Here we go again. Little hops. Good. You guys feeling this? Oh yeah. Three, two, hold it. Real, real careful now. Pull those knees out, put your hands behind your head. We're going into your obliques. Ideally, your left elbow comes around the back of your left thigh, right elbow around the back of the right thigh. Can you oh, go deeper? baby. Whoa. Right out. Love that oblique Three. work happening there. Glutes too, right? Two, yes, yes. Quads. everywhere. Go deeper in your sumo. Hop forward an inch, hop back. Forward, back. Four, three, two, hold it. Go deeper, it's time to finish out those obliques. Reach, reach. Try and touch the floor. Oh, oh. reach up for four, come on. Three, two, and one. Oh. Wow. Okay. Get in your plank. Man. Oh my gosh, I'm fiery, fiery, fiery burning. My body is burning. Okay, take your right knee, bring it out towards your right elbow, pause for a second, feel that right side. Set it down, left knee out, in, right, left. Do one more each side. Now we're gonna take that right knee, bring it in towards the left elbow, set it down. Left to the right, down. Make sure you set your foot down and reset every time. Shoulders over wrists, hips squared. Three, 
two, one. Oh, okay. <gasps> now. I'm glad Lisa's working too because we're oh dying back here. <laughs> Super out of breath. That's okay, that's what we're here for. This is the grand finale. We're gonna take two, go ahead and lay back. <laughs> Lift yeah. your legs up. I'll talk you through it while you're working. So this is an isometric hold. I want you to pull your abs in. Leave a tiny bit of space right above the sacrum. That's your neutral spine. So we're gonna take hundreds, take a series of five, and we're gonna layer them together. So we're gonna Ooh. do the first 20 of your hundreds. Inhale your arms back. Exhale, I want you to curl up to your highest point. Your arms are about two or three inches above the mat. Look at your belly button, draw it in. Start to pump those arms. Good, let's inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. Now hold, okay? Your shoulders are up, belly's tight. Draw the right knee and extend your left leg out. Good, let that right knee track over your right hip and then switch. So your torso is very, very stable. Shoulder blades up, gazes out that belly button. Good, breathing in, breathing out for four. Three, two, when we move on, do not let your head down. Good, curl up, extend your legs back up, arms hover above the mat, 20 more of the hundred, so we're going to 40. Baby, all right. right. Keeping those shoulder blades up is so challenging. That's what it's all about. Ooh. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Good, hands behind the head, bend your knees, crisscross. Now you're all experts at this by now, we've done lots of these, <laughs> oh boy. so shoulder blades are up. Inhaling and exhaling. Now your abs are super, your, sorry, your legs. Yes, your abs are active, but so are your legs. Don't forget about them. Okay. Last three. Exhale, inhale, two. Curl those legs back in, reset. Do not let your shoulders come down. Woo. Legs back up. Let's go from 40 to 60, okay? So that means your arms are above. Begin your third round of hundreds, or 20s, I should say. Good, curl higher. Good, hands behind the head. Right, we're gonna lower and lift the legs so the legs go down and up. You can soften the knees if you're starting to feel your low back or hips. Whenever you need to curl up, reset your body, okay? Inhale down, exhale up for three, two, one. Grab onto the back of your legs, you're gonna need this one. Curl your body up, I want you to reset. Okay. Stay as high as you are. <laughs> Good, then let go, but don't move. Good. Let's go to 80. Inhale, five, four. Three, two, one. Exhale. Really focusing on the breath helps me. Yeah. <laughs> helps you Good not distraction. to Good distraction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fire. Good. Last one. Trying to keep my low back on the ground. Now we're going to curl in, okay? Ooh. Knees come in. I want you to wrap your arms along the outsides of your shins. This is a double knee stretch. You're going to inhale. Arms go back towards the ears. Legs shoot out. Good. Exhale. <sighs> Sweep it in. Your shoulders stay up. Your gaze stays focused on your navel. Inhale. Exhale. Four, three, two, pull it in. Oh. We're going to finish those hundred. Shake your head yet. Uh, shake your head now. Not a yes. Good. Lift your legs back up. Okay, final round of the hundred to make it count. Here we go. Arms down, let's go. In. Exhale. This last one, when you exhale, I want you to curl up even higher. Good. Freeze here. Keep your right leg exactly as it is. Gently lower your left leg. A little bit higher. You're grabbing onto the back of your right leg and you're gonna pulse it in for two. Switch in for two. Go. go. You can soften the knees, you can keep your legs straight, you can point, you can flex, whatever feels best. Breathing in. Now for the grand finale, I want you guys to put your hands behind your head. This will show you how much you're using your arms, even though you probably think you aren't. Oh, oh yeah. True. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Pull your knees into your chest. Oh, I love that. Uh, we're gonna rock forwards and backwards. We'll finish in a nice deep forward fold, so you're gonna extend your legs out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale here and then exhale forward fold. Okay. Just take a couple deep breaths in. And every time you exhale, see if you can go just a little bit deeper. Don't pull. Last time in. Exhale, reach. Good, and let's gently slowly roll up. All right, turn. <sighs> Sit up nice and tall. We're just gonna roll our head to the left, gently, slowly. Close your eyes. Reverse. 
Good. Drop your chin down to your chest. Inhale as you look up to the sky. Exhale as you look straight ahead. And let's just do one last deep breath. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, bring your arms down. And you made it. Wow, that was incredible, oh, Lisa. Thank you made you. it through that oh, workout. Wow. You are a champion. <laughs> Lisa, okay. you're the bomb. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Lisa, that workout was awesome. Thank you so much. You did an amazing job. Thank you. And for more on that workout, you can visit my website, burnsf.com. You can buy my DVD, check out my blog, or come see me in San Francisco for an amazing class. Woo, I wanna go. We'll see you guys next time on Pop Sugar Fitness.